Every Sunday in the summer, everybody with a bike show out. This bike's as far as you can see. Pull the bike back, straight up, like the hands of a clock when it hit midnight. What's that? That's Midnight Click. They got the best bikes, the best tricks, the best riders. It's Flex. Midnight Click Legend. So that's who you want to be down with then? I was just mouse. This year I'm finna be MNC mouse, and nobody gonna stop me. Click ain't gonna respect you till you pull up one new bike. This ain't a charity, but you could rebuild it if you want to earn it. What about my friends, though? I'm not working for free in no auto shop. That ain't even how you go about getting your own bike in Baltimore City, yo. How you do it then? Like that. Y'all do exactly what I say. You won't get paid. Where you get all this? Oh. Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Today I am with star Jahi Winston for his movie Charm City Kings. Jahi, I've got to tell you, like right now, you are the sunshine of my life. Hey. <laughs> I saw that video. Boy. Just like just like the movie, you were awesome in that video. You've got a great voice. So congratulations. Were you familiar with the world of dirt bikes prior to joining the film, or did you like watch a documentary to familiarize yourself and get to know the character a bit? I was not very familiar. Uh, I became familiar after doing the film, but and during the process of the film, and I think delving into the culture of bike culture really helped me um, as an actor and as an artist in portraying Mouse and his love and admiration for dirt bike culture and for the for West Baltimore. So it definitely en enhanced my respect for all of the writers and everyone who was a part of that that world. Yeah, my first introduction to the Baltimore bike life was through the documentary in which the Charm Studio Kings is based, uh, 12 O'Clock Boys. I mean, back home in Puerto Rico, we do have a culture of bikes and you see them all the time, especially now during election year. They take over the streets and it's just oh, wow. a common practice of, of transportation. But it wasn't until I saw uh, 12 O'Clock Boys and visited Baltimore and spent time with that whole crew uh, that I realized how big uh, this, this is for the culture. So do you find yourself now kind of being an enthusiast? Like, I don't know if they've put you through a school just to make sure that you were safe, you know, riding both like the four wheeler and riding the dirt bike. Well, I didn't actually ride, <laughs> so that was probably, I know, I killed the magic of cinema. So. <laughs> but it's, uh, I didn't actually ride, so, but I did, I did want to do some sort of like bike, like knowledge or just sort of, you know, I watched a lot of videos of kids from West Baltimore talking about the bikes and talking about why they loved them so much and why they had a lot of respect um, for that culture and it, it again, it helped my respect and admiration for the culture. So uh, I had a great time really studying um, by culture and studying all of the all of the writers and all the famous writers and getting accustomed with the people who are a part of the world. But I did spend enough time. I got as close as I could to the action. Uh, and, and and the kids also, they, they visited it and they saw how everything is. and. I mean, when we shot it, we literally recreated the whole Sunday ride thing um, in one of the corners. And what you see there, it really, that's exactly what it is. So we had the kid actors uh, actually act in the middle of one of those rides really happening uh, with safety constraints. We had, we had uh, Kevin Rogers, uh, the stone coordinator. Uh, he's super responsible and all the other people that were there. We had key stone coordinators there, but this, these riders that pop wheelies, that they dance on, 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 their, on their bikes, they tap dance their way down the street. Uh, nobody can do it better than themselves. Like they are the ones who pretty much invented the whole thing. And, uh, and they were able to actually weigh in and be a part of the stunt team. Uh, uh, so pretty much they got upgraded in a way uh, on the filmmaker aspect of things and, and they were able to be themselves while doing stunts. 
This drops digitally on HBO Max, you know, for households everywhere. But for you, you had something special. You got to be at Sundance and watch this with the crowd. How was that? It was awesome. It was so, so cool. I mean, it, the, the best part was at the end of the film when it's at its highest peak of emotion or whatever. And you could just hear universal sniffles in the audience. It's like, is everyone's, it, I was like, I think you got some here, you know? So, uh, that was really cool to be a part of that moment and now it just makes me even more appreciative that i was able to see it with an audience full of people um and hopefully everyone has the same experience and reaction when they watch it at home so you have some great scenes with meek mill you know he is also a musician like you are mm -hmm. um so how was how was the experience working with him Awesome. Meek is a Meek is a great actor. Uh, and it was really cool to see him get fully more more immersed into the story, into his character as we went along through the process of filming. Uh, his guards started to come down a lot more as we started filming. Cool. The more we started filming and he started to um, be more and more into the moment and just be. Um, and I think that was really cool because, you know, he was really worried about doing it right and trying to get it as perfect as possible and there's just one specific moment where I could see that just all go out and he was in the moment and that was really beautiful it's like oh man look at you look at you acting out you yeah hey man so you're a young guy so how does it feel knowing that you're part of a movie that's being produced by Will Smith Jada Pinkett Smith uh really cool and I'm glad to be a part of them and shout out to them hopefully I can be on the next Red Table Talk Come to Thanksgiving. Sure, love absolutely, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, shout out to them. Love, love them. Love that they were able to give us the space to really create and do our and do our thing. And so yeah, it's really cool. Well, hey man, I gotta tell you, congratulations again. I can't wait to see what you do next. Please stay safe and healthy during this time. Yeah, I will. Thank you as well. Thank you. The movie is Charm City Kings. You can catch it on HBO Max. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong. <laughs> I just want you to know that I'm here for you and that I got your back. You never been? To the ocean. I ain't never been outside West Baltimore before. We'll go one day. Don't give up on your dreams. They don't get no easier to hold on to. Boys wait for other people. Men go out and get it. What you want to do? Where you been at today? I will lock your ass up. Stagging that finish. You know the routine. You know what a second chance life for people like me and you? People like us don't get no second chances, mouse. You know the routine. You know the routine. Promise me you're going to do right. <laughs>